Hello everybody, today's subject is negative space and I've got a photograph here of a nice white building and we're just going to define what negative space is. Uh, negative space is basically the area surrounding the main subject. So in this particular case, this building is the main object that we're looking at but behind the building we've got this area of sky which is in places quite substantially darker than the building itself. Now rather than focus on the lines of the building and the rather awkward perspective of the building, if we focus on the negative space instead, which is this area of sky behind the upper part here, the other areas of negative space are, you can't see much of it on this picture, but there is an area of pavement at the bottom here, and then within the building itself, we've got the darker areas in shadow, which is this shape here. And then we've got the sides of the tower here. And we've also got the side of this bit that's sticking up here. So for me, they're the main areas of negative space. And we're going to focus on those rather than the building itself. So what I've done is to help me along the way as I draw, I've taken the same picture as you can see there. I've put a cross on it exactly halfway so we've got four equal squares and this is just going to help me to track the line of the sky round the edge of the building here. So I've transferred the exact same four square pattern onto a piece of drawing paper here. I'll just remove that to one side so that uh, you can just see this piece of paper. So this is in exact the same proportion as the picture here. Now I'm going to start with where the line of the sky intersects the edge and it drops down slightly and then up it comes across this line to here and then it follows up round the tower and as I'm drawing it I'm going to focus on the shape that the sky is making rather than any shape that the building is making. It's a different way of looking at drawing something and you might find this uh, is helps you with your drawing in future. So here we go, I'm going to do this fairly quickly. It comes down here from that intersection to there. It then crosses back up over the halfway line to about here. Then it comes up, about halfway up that space. There's a little section there and then it comes slopes off quite close to the halfway line comes up and round and up and round and then it crosses the halfway line then it comes down and out again and then it keeps following the line down to here and then out and then back in and then down to here. I'll just show you where I am at the moment. I'm at this point here now and it continues down here. A little bit lower I think it comes down here to there drops down below the line to there comes across and then drops down again and then it sort of finishes off at the edge there so I'm reasonably satisfied with that I've concentrated on the shape that the sky was making rather than the building let's have a look at the little section at the bottom that's the area of pavement it starts right in the corner and it comes about a third of the way along this square section to there and then it comes down to here it's a single line coming down to there and then slowly works its way up there again so we've got two areas of negative space let's just I'm just going to use a 6B pencil just to help you understand what's going on there we are I'm going to shade in the area of negative space which is the sky behind the building. The problem when we draw is that we tend to draw what we what we think is there so when we focus on the building we start getting all the angles wrong whereas I think when you look at the space behind the building and just focus on the line that's created by that around the building it helps us to see the angles better right there it is so that's the area of 
sky. Let's just do the pavement as well. Very quickly shade that in. Right, so the next area of negative space uh, is this area of the building itself. Now this is substantially in shadow. It, this is white, we're going to leave the white bits completely white, I'm not going to touch them. This area is in total shadow. So I'm just going to focus on what happens to that now. So from here it comes down and then it drops down to this angle here, comes a little bit further and it drops down to there. And then it continues across, up beyond the halfway line, drops down to below the halfway line and then it comes down to about there and then drops down to meet this corner here. And that is the second area of negative space. That's the shape that's created by that shadow bit. So I'm just going to put some shade on that now as well. Let's just shade that in. There we go. Right, let's find the other areas of negative space now on the building. We've got the we've got this shape, this shape and this shape here. So we'll need to continue this line up to there and drop it down to there. And then that shape there up and down and then up and down again there. So we'll just shade those in. Like that. And then we've got just this section, this bit of a shape here. And that is comes just up above here. From about there, it comes up and then it comes across to there. There's a little bit of a sort of strange gable end here. It comes down. And that follows almost straight down. So we'll put that. That's actually, you can just see the roof there. So I'll just shade that in there as well. So that's, that's this picture here, which I have drawn by studying the shape of the spaces. I'm going to very quickly just drop in uh, some of the arches and windows and just some of the extra lines that are on here. Because it actually makes it much easier once you've done this. To get in these other lines that are required. Let's just put these arches in here and try and get the angle of those right. So there's, there's these two slits for windows up there. On both those faces we'll get some weight into these. You can actually see the you can actually just see the sky through that one but I'm I'm just going to ignore that just for the sake of what we're doing here. And then we'll put the windows in. There's this window here and here and then we'll just focus on the, the arch as well. So we've got a window here. Something like that. This one, the angles have just changed further down like that. They look like shutters to me. So, But we'll just, I'll just block them in rather than try and draw any detail at this stage and over here there's a little window just that another little one below it and there's a little hint of a window there as well and then let's just have a look at this arch very quickly this doorway we've got a, a structure of like a crisscross pattern Like that, and then there's an arch comes up to about there. Little feature on the top of it, and then we've got the doorway, which, if you like, you could say, well, that's a, another piece of negative space there. That door in there, like that. 
So I hope you can see from that drawing how I identified negative space and used the negative spaces to do the drawing rather than try and focus on the building as a whole. And well, I think you can see that it works. It takes a little bit of practice, but it might be worth having a go at that. And shortly I'm going to do a painting, very simple painting based on this very building. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you join me again for some more tutorials in the future. Thank you very much.